Hey guys, you are not alone if you have an old iPod whose contents you are having a hard time transferring to either your new computer, new iPhone, iPod Touch, or one of the newer version of Apple products that play music these days. Apple does not make it that easy for anyone. And again, you are not alone. In my case, I have an old iPod Nano with some of my favorite music that I downloaded from music CDs back in the day. I wanted to transfer them to my new iPod Touch and this has proven to be quite a chore. And I hate the fact that Apple wants you to pay them to be able to do that. Anyway, today I'm going to show you what works for me and hopefully it works for you as well and save you some headache. So let's do it. My name is Weds and thanks for tuning into the channel and even though I'm mostly a gaming channel but gaming involves a lot of messing around with electronic gadgets. So here we are. The first thing you need to do to transfer your contents from an old iPod to a new iPod is to download and install the latest version of iTunes. Whatever the version might be when you watch this video. Once that is done open up iTunes and make sure you have no Apple device attached to your computer. On the top menu look for edit and click it. Go down to preference and click that. Then the general preference window will pop up. From the general preference window, click on devices. Under the devices menu, down towards the bottom, make sure you check the box that says prevent iPods, iPhones, and iPads from syncing automatically. Then hit OK. Now that we have this out of the way, the next thing you need to do is to create a folder on your computer desktop and give it a name like old iPod or something to that effect. This is the folder where you are going to put the files from your old device. Now that is done, you can now plug in your old iPod to your computer. So let's go through the process. All right, we're gonna go through the process even though I already showed you the still images, but all right, so iTunes is open and I said you would go to edit and then go to the preferences and then there you will find devices and then on the bottom you will see where it says prevent iPods, iPhones and iPads from syncing automatically. Once you get that done, just hit OK and you should be good to go. Now the next thing that we talked about, we talked about creating a folder. We are going to create a folder called old iPod transfer just for the sake of this video all right so we should get it done since it moved to my other screen I'm using a two screen setup so I'm gonna move it over all right so this is the folder where you are going to add your stuff from, from your old device so now once you get that done we are going to make sure that we plug in our old iPod. Now once you plug in your iPod, your old one, or whichever old device that you were using, you need to go to File Explorer or My Computer and then you can look for whatever the name you give your iPod. And then there you'll see all these action, calendars, contacts, notes, recording, and this right here. So the files that you want to copy are iTunes files. But if you don't see it, for some reason, most people may not see it because it's a hidden file. So the, the way you rectify this is if you look on top right there, you will see all these options. So go to view and on view, you make sure file name extension is selected. And then also you want to check hidden items. Now that will pull out the iPod control. This is the ones that you need. So then we're going to click on this and then here you can see all the stuff that you can copy to your computer. And for this option, for this uh, training, we're going to have music and then you should see all the files with the uh, F3 uh, all the way to however many files you have. And then this is all the ones that you're going to have to copy. So. You can just uh, copy them whatever, however you normally copy stuff. You can click one and then shift and click all the other ones or you can just highlight everything and then you just go to copy and then we're going to copy it to the folder that we created which was the old iPod transfer. Copy it here. 
and it's going to take some time to copy everything and once everything is copied then this is what you're going to transfer to your new iPod. Once all of this is copied, when it's done, I am going to continue with the process. All right. Now that we created a folder on our computer desktop and we save all the files from our old iPod in there, it's time for us to put them into iTunes so we can transfer them to our new iPod. All right. So to do this, you need to go to file and then add file to library. Don't do add folder to library because it may not transfer everything. So just be patient with it and then just add file to library. And from there, go to your desktop, wherever you save the folder. So we call this folder, the old iPod transfer. So you're going to double click there. And then these are all the files that you saved uh, from your old iPod. All right. So you're going to have to copy them one by one because if you try to do them all at once, it won't transfer everything. So we're gonna do, we're gonna try the first one. So, and then once you get all the files that you see the files, then just go highlight everything. And then this is going to go to your iTunes. Now to find where the songs or whatever you just uh, open, just go to there and you'll start seeing them on there wherever. For me, I already have a lot of stuff in there. So you may not, I may not see the one that I just added, but that's the gist of things. So you're going to have to do this one by one. So if you want to add the other rest of the folder, just go back, add file to library, and then go back to the desktop again. And then just go to your folder and then since you did the first one now you can do the second one until you copy every single files or every single folders that you want so now you can go back to your out itunes and then just organize the file the way you want to now it's time to put our new ipod in so you're gonna plug in our new ipod to our computer And now the computer recognizes my uh, iPod touch because I've used this computer before. But if for some reason yours doesn't show, it's gonna ask you to go through some process of you know, authorize the computer and authorize the iPod touch or whatever, or the iPhone or iPad, whichever one you are using until it recognizes it. But you know, you're gonna use your password and stuff like that. So once it recognizes it, then you have the iPod in there. So then you can start creating folder inside your, uh, your your new iPod. You can create new folders and then just start adding the music. This is what works for me and I hope it works for you as well. I know there are some programs out there like iMazing, iDis and iDad and iMusic and stuff that you can pay for. But if you don't have the opportunity, you don't have the money, then you know you can use that one and see if this works for you. Anyway, guys, hopefully this helps you solve your dilemma. Please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. I'll be most appreciative. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Remember to wash your hands. Remember to wash your